Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Gagan again. You're in Gagan Shows. Today, we're gonna make a robotics project. It's called a circuit. How do we make the circuit? First, we need the battery. Second, we need the switch. Third, we need the light sensor. Fourth, we need the light. So cute, you need the battery and the 9 volt battery. Okay, so next we need the switch. Then you need the light. So first you have to connect the battery to the battery holder. Next, you have to keep the battery inside gently. After you have to check if it's on. If it's not on, you have to connect it a little more. It's on, so next. Okay, see, now it's on. So next, you need to have the switch. Then you have to The difference between push button and switch are the switch has two active states, on and off. The push button has zero active states. We need to connect the battery and the switch. So, there is the input and output. The switch has the input and the battery has the output. So we just need to connect those two together. So if you want it tighter, you just need to click it from the bottom. Next, you need the light that has an input. So then you had to connect the switch's output to the light's input like this. And again, you need to keep it tight. So then you need to connect, you need to on the battery, then on the switch and you get the light on. This is called circuit and I made it right now and I'll show you how does it work. I want to disconnect the light so I can work with some other sensor with the light. So I'm removing this. This is called the light sensor and this is called the nano. So what the light sensor do is that it, this is called the light sensor and this red thing is called the nano. When something comes to the nano, it will accept it and it will work. Now I'm going to add the light sensor to the switch and the battery. And also keep, make sure, keep it tight. Next, then I'm going to add the light. Let's see. How does it work? working hmm oh yeah there's one more sensor missing what is it called it's called the light now I'll show you how it works so right now I'm giving the light to the nano and it's accepting it to the light and the energy works Now I'm going to show you a different one, pulse and delay. So first what we have to do is we have to disconnect the light sensor and make sure you have to keep it on a flat surface. 
So this is the pulse and delay. Now I'm gonna. This is the pulse and delay. Now I'm gonna add the pulse and delay to the light. I mean the switch and the battery. And make sure to keep it tight so it works properly. Next, you have to add the light. So, I'll show you how it works. Now, I'm going to work with pulse. Pulse is a short duration of time. Now, I'm going to explain about pulse. Pulse is a short distance of time. Why is the light not working? Hmm. Now, well, we're going to be working on how to work pulse. So how do you work it is we have to keep a short distance of time to work. Like we have to keep this on uh, these two on zero. Then we have to keep this on five. Then let's see if it works. It worked. See I'm gonna do it one more time. Now I'm going to explain about delay. Delay takes a long distance of time. So let's see how does it work. So first we have to on it and keep it on delay. Next we have to keep it on 5 like again. Let's see. It does it work? It works. This is all about circuit, light sensor, and delay and pulse. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Turn it on the no <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Turn on the no Please subscribe. Turn on the notifications for more videos. And click that like button.